You're watching a Wheels TV Top 200 Video Test Drive on the 2008 Suzuki XL7. This second generation XL7 is a midsize crossover built on a unibody chassis with full length underbody rails for added stability. A study in current Japanese design, the XL7 features crisp body lines connecting sculpted features such as the angular headlight clusters and prominent lower front grille elements. In the rear, the sweeping belt line terminates at the taillight assembly, creating an equally abstract presentation. Additionally, the 17-inch alloy wheels, fog lamps and aluminum roof rails with adjustable sliding crossbars give the XL7 a sense of functionality that is further supported by its off-pavement capability. There is one power plant offered, the 3.6-liter 24-valve V6 that generates 252 horsepower and 243 pound-feet of torque. The engine is coupled to a 5-speed automatic transmission with manual shift capability and routed through Suzuki's available electronic all-wheel drive system. Braking is provided by four-wheel discs with ABS. Traction and stability control are standard. As the limited designation would suggest, our test vehicle came through with just about every feature possible, from three-row leather seating to a high-end radio CD MP3 player and rear passenger DVD system with individual headsets. Front passengers are treated to power-adjustable heated seats and wood trim. The tilt-adjustable steering wheel is wrapped in leather and contains controls for a variety of entertainment and communication options. The center console houses the driver information center and trip computer, as well as the GPS system. MSRP for the XL7 All-Wheel Drive Limited we drove is $28,899, but the two-wheel drive five-passenger version has a base price of $21,349. Since all models share the same engine transmission package, EPA estimates for fuel economy for all versions of the XL7 are 15 miles per gallon city and 22 on the highway. The new Suzuki XL7 is the largest, most comfortable Suzuki SUV ever built. Its roomy, functional and refined interior make it worth a second look when considering a midsize SUV crossover.